Hi everyone, and welcome back to another video. This is the first video in our series of how to learn how to use Firebase. <clears throat> if you know, Parse is going to shut down next year in, ja in January, towards the end of February. So what I want to do is, if you're using Parse, well, you might have switched by now already, definitely. But if you don't want to switch and you want to create an entirely new app, you can use Firebase. And Firebase is a little bit trickier, so that's why I want to create a video. So if we look at their tutorials, and we look, I'm going to go to home, my home. So you're going to go to firebase.google.com, get started for free, and I'm going to be creating a new project. Or actually, let's open that. I'm going to be creating a new iOS app. And we're going to go ahead, go to Xcode, create a new Xcode project, single view application, just going to call it um, new server test, and then save it on the desktop. We, have, we need this. So we're going to copy that, go back here, copy, and we don't need this stuff. Then the next thing is we get this Google service thing. So what we're going to do is go to Xcode, drag that into here, and click finish. And make sure to use copy items if needed. And then <clears throat> you'll click continue. And this is a tricky part. This is going to require terminal. So I'm going to open up, and yes, we do have to close this. So we're going to open up terminal. And then we're going to do CD desktop and then LS and we see what we've got here on the desktop and we're going to find the new server test. So what we're going to do is type CD new server test and what we're going to do here, <coughs> sorry, if you don't have pods installed on your on your uh, ter terminal what you're gonna do is do sudo gem install coca pods and let's this this is a crucial command for that but I already have pods installed so I don't have to do it so what I'm gonna do is type pod init and then it create. If we go back to Finder, we see that if we open up our new server test, we have this pod file. And then we're gonna type vi pod file, which will open up the pod file. And we're gonna go down here. So. The first thing we're going to do is go back up here, we see platform, iOS 9.0, except for we're using 10.0, and actually 10.1, and we see here it says comment on next line if you're not using Swift and do not want to use dynamic frameworks. Well, we are using Swift, so we're not going to uncomment that. Then we're going to go down here and we're going to start by typing in pod <clears throat> firebase slash core if we go back to google we see we have to type that in and and then we're going to go ahead press escape and then a colon and we see here at the bottom that we have a colon. Press X and then press enter. And then we save the file. Then we're gonna do pod install. And then we just installed all the frameworks we needed. So now we're not gonna open the project from Xcode because we just installed a few things not from Xcode. So what we're going to do is do open. And we see here new server test.exe workspace right there. We're going to do open new server test 
dot xc workspace. And that just opens Xcode for us. And what do we have here? Okay, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll just do that. So what we've got here is we've got a new server test as usual. And we've got the pods and the frameworks, which we don't have much in. And then we got a pods project. We see in here, we got a pod file as usual. That's what we were editing. You remember? And then we got our frameworks, iOS. And we look at pods and we see all our Firebase things. We see Firebase. Analytics, core, instance ID, interchange, symbol, and toolbox. And let's go back here. And the next step if we go here is to add it to our iOS app. So we're going to go to appdelegate.swift, import Firebase. And here, fir app dot configure, and you see it's glowing, so that means it is defined. And then we'll click finish. Here we're gonna go to manage, and we see here got the project and if we run this let's run it and if it, it does have no problem so we're gonna see if we, this thing can work so we see we get sick of art and we see back here, here, I think it's because of that one. <clears throat> so no error. So we see a bunch of Firebase stuff, but we don't get Sigabar at least. So I guess we're happy. And you see it says like, for example, uh, let's see. But we, we got this down. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will be uploading more Firebase videos, including like how to make a login, stuff like that. But we're just getting started. So bye.